Hi, my name is Quentin Alsbury, and I'm a product manager for Amazon QuickSight. This quick start video series is designed to help you get up and running with your new account as quickly as possible and answer any questions you have about how QuickSight works, how to use key features, as well as provide you with best practices for turning your data into actionable insights. Amazon QuickSight is a fast, easy to use analytics service that makes it incredibly easy for anyone to explore, visualize, and share insights from their data. As a hosted application, there's no need to download any software. So once you've created your QuickSight account, all you need to do is click on the link in the welcome email you received, or go to quicksight.aws and click login. You can also access QuickSight through the console inside of your AWS account. Once you've logged into your QuickSight account, you'll notice that we've provided some sample content that you can play around with to get familiar with the application. There are three main areas of QuickSight that you'll need to be familiar with as you get going and that we'll be discussing a lot in the coming videos. So it's worth taking a quick tour to help you get familiar with the concepts of analysis, dashboards, and data sets. Let's start with analyses. You can think of the analysis mode as the authoring or content creation part of QuickSight. This is where you can transform your data into charts, tables, and other visualizations that allow you to explore your data visually. This is also where you can create and use filters, drill downs, and a wide variety of analytics features that allow you to slice and analyze your data once it's visualized. Next, there's dashboards. If you want to share your analysis with other users in your organization, but don't want them to be able to edit or change anything you've created, you can share it with them as a dashboard which is essentially a read-only version of your analysis. Users can still interact with all of the visualizations, including drill downs, zooming, and filtering, but they won't be able to change anything that would affect the underlying analysis or the dashboard experience for any other user. Lastly, there's data sets. Data sets are the foundation of everything that you create in QuickSight. A data set contains information about the data source you're connecting to, any transformations you've made, as well as the data itself. Everything you create in QuickSight starts with creating a data set and then building your analysis and dashboards from the different data sets you have. Finally, if you're an admin of your QuickSight account, there's an admin panel where you can manage your account, purchase more spice capacity, add, delete, and manage additional users, and control who has access to what inside of your QuickSight account. Now that you know the basics, let's dive in and start creating your first visualization. Stay tuned for the next video on connecting to your data and creating your first data set. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.